Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Dash. Double honors to the elders, apostles of Great Millstone, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, preaching this word truthfully, faithfully, strongly, and sincerely. And I say, uh, Shalom to you, Akim, out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson on this uh, Thursday afternoon, uh, February the 10th, 2022. And it says, uh, U.S. Uh, this is from usnews.com. I meant to say Salakia. And this is from February 10th, 2022. And it's by the Associated Press. And this is um, U.S. News. And the highlight of this news article, it says U.S. inflation highest in 40 years with no let up in sight it says if inflation soars of the past year and its highest rate in four decades hammering americans consumers wiping out pay raise and reinforcing the federal reserve's decision to begin raising borrowers across the economy washington inflation soars over the past year at its highest rate in four decades Hammering American consumers wiping out pay raises and reinforcing the Federal Reserve decisions to begin raising borrow rates across the economy. The Labor Department says Thursday that the consumers price jumped 7.5 last month, comparing with a year early. Uh, the step this year over year increased since February 1982. The acceleration of price range across the economy from food, furniture, to apartment rent, airline fares, and electricities. It says, when measuring from December to January, inflation of 0.6%, and the same as the previous month, more than economics has. Uh, expect price rose 0 0.7 from October to November, 0 0.9 from September to October. Salaki. Um, back to the reading of the news article. Shortages of supplies and workers' heavy doses of federal aid, ultra law entry. Rates and both consumer spending combining to send inflation leaping in the past year. And there's a few signs that the that it will slow significantly anytime soon. Soon. It says wages. And it says wages are rate rising at a fast pace at least twenty years. Which can pressure companies to raise prices to cover higher labor costs. Ports and warehouses are overwhelmed with hundreds of workers at the port of Los Angeles and Long Beach. The nation's busiest out sick last month. Many products are part remain in short as a result. Prices for a broad range of goods and services accelerating from December to January and not just for items directly affected by the pandemic apartment where it costs went up to cost rose up to 0 0.5 in January the fast pace in 20 years electricity prices surged 4.2 in January alone the sharpest raise in 15 years and are up 10.7% from the years early last month. Household, household furniture and supplies rose up 1.6 and largest one month increase on record dating to 1967. The food costs driven by Pricer, eggs, cereals, and daily products 
increase 0.9 in January, and airfares rose 2.3 percent. New car prices, which has jumped during the pandemic because of a shortage of computer chips, were unchanged last month, but are up 12.2 from a year ago. The surge in new car prices has in turn accelerated used car prices as they rose 1.5 in January and are up a dazzling 41% from a year ago. Just a price measure in some areas easing the flanges in, in other parts of the economy is picking up, Sarah said. An economist at West Fargo, an upshot that the inflation is likely to remain uncomfortably high. The steady, the steady raise of price has left many Americans less able to afford food, gas, rent, child care, and other necessities. Necessities. More broad inflation has emerged. The biggest risk factor for the economy as a serious threat to Joe Biden's and Congressional Democratic midterm elections from later this year. Among Americans who are struggling with the price of foods and gas is Courtney Lickley, who have changed her shopping habits and taking injection work shifts at a grocery store. Charlotte, North Carolina, where she lives. It says, Uki 33 used to be able to fill up a grocery chart of $100. Now she has $100 barely filled half of the cart. Well, yeah, that's true because since the hyperinflation went up with the uh, everything in all those categories with the food. And other prices going up as well too. So yeah, the, the cost of food is definitely had went up. Now she has a hundred dollars, barely half the cart. Tomatoes have reached a five dollars, wow, five dollars a pound, which I think is ridiculous. Yeah, it is ridiculous. Lucas has switched to uh, Canaan. Tomatoes has begun using coupons for a family dollar in food line. It says to help pay bills, she also look up more hours at a Harris Tea Teeter grocery store, if I pronounce that name right. But the store is 30 minutes from her house, so she had to spend up more on gas. Yeah, the price of gas has went up as well, too. It says all for her forced additional spending has caused Lucky to pull back on her family activities such as bowling with her daughter, with her brother, and her two sons, though out, outings now typically have once a month rather than every week or two, even including volatile foods and energy prices so-called. Core inflation jumped 0.6 from December to January and six point and six percent. I meant to say from a year ago. It says stocks fell monitoring trading after release of the report with the broad S and P 500 index down 0.6. The yield on a 10-year bond jumped to nearly two percent. A sign that investors see more rates high high ahead. In the past year, sharp increase in the cost of gas, food, autos, and furniture have been appended many in other American budgets too. In December, economics, economists at the University of Pennsylvania Walter School estimated that the average household has to spend $3,500 more than 2020 to buy any additional basket of goods and services. Thursday report will intensify pressure on the Fed's its chair, Jerome, Jerome Powell, to tight, tighten uh, credit to slow the economic enough to cool inflation. 
found signals two weeks ago that the central bank were likely to rise a benchmark short-term rate multiple times this year, with the first hike almost surely coming at its next meeting in March. With the latest inflation data, inflation data, I meant to say, some economic expect feds may decide to raise its key rate in March by one half and percentage point rev rather than its typical quarter point heights. Over time, higher rates will raise the cost for a wide range of borrowing from mortgage, credit cards, to autos and business loans. This could cool spending inflation, but for the feds, the risk is that the steady tightened credit, it will trigger another recession. Wow. Last week, the average of a 30-year fixed mortgage jumped to 3.69, the highest more than two years. According to the mortgage buyer, Freddie Mac, uh, higher loan rates will elbow some will be home buyers out of the market. It says many corporations and conference call the investors have they expect supplies to persist in at least second half of this year. Companies from Chipotle to Levi has also warned that they will likely rise prices again this year after doing after done so in 2021 of last year. It says Chip Paul T said it's increased menu prices 10% to offset the raising cost of beef and transportation as well as the higher employee wages. As the restaurant chain says it will consider further price increase if inflation keep rising. We keep thinking that beef is going to level up and then go down. Then it just hasn't happened yet, said John Horton, the company chief financial officer. Executives of Chick Holy, as well as Starbucks and some other consumers facing companies, have said they uh, customers so far doesn't seem fazzled by the higher prices. Levi Scrolls and company face uh, raised prices last year by roughly 7 point cent above 2019 level because of rising costs including labors and planes to do so this year. Even so, the San Francisco based company has upgraded its sales forecast for 2022. Right now, every sales we see is positive. The CEO chip Workers tools analysts. So yeah, you know this. Uh, after I was reading this whole article, you know this is uh, hyperinflation, been the highest in forty years in four decades, which is since nineteen eighty-two. You saying you know the rent is going up, the cost of goods is going up. You know, it was showing one example. I was reading through the article, and they said this lady. You know, she used to go out with her family, but she had to work more overtime to get more hours from her job. Because, you know, she usually go, like, food shopping every once in a month or, or a couple of weeks, I believe. You know, she had to, she said uh, it used to save her a lot of money when she goes to the grocery store, spend, like, about $100. She'd have a full cart of food of to last her for a whole month. You know, or for a long extended period of time, you know. But now she's saying since the gas prices went up, the uh, the cost of living this went up, you know. Now she's saying when she goes to the grocery store, she got to pay, you know, you know, uh, she used to pay $100 and her grocery cart used to be full. Now she said when she goes to the grocery store, since everything that goes up, at these uh, grocery stores and everything like that, you know, she have a hundred dollars to spend. You know, it only uh, half full of her cart. You know, when she shopping, when she going food shopping. You know, because the you know the hyperinflation been 
going up, you know, from last year uh, all the way until this year, you know, because it definitely been going up since the last year, I believe, in uh, November and December, all the way into January, you know, now until now, you know, in February, you know, we're in the beginning month of uh, February, you know, the hyperinflation been since they made this announcement on Thursday, you know, the hyperinflation been going up. It's the first time they've been up in 40 years, you know, in 40 decades. You know, they never seen such a thing like this, you know. And, you know, I believe the, uh, it's gonna, I believe they said it's not gonna hold down anytime soon, you know. They go trying to make ways to, like, put more, uh, tax height interest to lower the inflation, which I doubt, highly doubt that's gonna happen. But I, I believe they said, uh, expect to see more of a continuum of a hyperinflation of things, of uh, things of the cost of living that's going up. It's gonna continually to be like that, you know, here in North America, you know. For that. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18, verse 2. And he cried with a mighty scoring voice, saying, Babylon the Great is fallen. Babylon the Great is fallen. It's become a habitation of devils and hold of every foul spirit in cage. Unclean the half a bird, right? Because, you know, these are uh, showing signs of uh, the daughter of Babylon is falling. You know, we're seeing it right before our eyes. You know, even if Joe Biden do come with this uh, Build Back America plan with the infrastructure and all that, you know, trying to uh, fix the economy and create more jobs, all that, et cetera, et cetera. Equal opportunity for everybody, you know, equal rights and equal jobs and equal everything, you know, you know, it's still going to, it's, this place is still going to uh, fall in many different categories with the division in the book of Mark uh, 3 and 25. If a nation be divided in itself, how can it stand, you know, from an economic standpoint, from a division standpoint, the left versus the right, and many other categories as well, too, you know. And expect continually the hyperinflation to increase and this has been the highest increase in the last 40 years I mean like, yeah last 40 years and four decades you know so yeah you know these are showing signs and indication of this place is falling continually in many different categories you know so with that uh, this is all I wanted to bring out on this sit down lesson on this uh, February the 10th, 2022, on this uh, Tuesday afternoon. So, yeah, you know, like I mentioned before, you know, Babylon is falling. And we're seeing signs of that, you know. And so, with that, I'd like to give all praises and glory and double honors to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, Rakakadash. Double honors to the elders, apostles, a great millstone, Christians, word, truthfully and sincere. Shout out to the Akim, scattered through the four corners of the globe, Christians, word, truthfully and sincere. And shout out to the Akim, that be like unto the speckled bird, Christians, word, truthfully, faithfully, strongly and sincere. And until next time, I will say, Shalom. Oh, before I close out this uh, sit down lesson, you know, it goes to show you that, you know, the current state of uh, Babylon, the great this place is currently falling. And I believe it was, uh, uh, I seen on CNA news yesterday, uh, they, uh, I think they signed a, a closing gap of, uh, I think they closing gap, they signed a avert, avert a, a deal to continue the fun funding the government which is a short-term deal so it won't be no uh government shutdown 
So, you know, that's that's short term. So that's another thing to keep an eye on as well, too. You know, to see if both sides continue to, like, fund the government and fund the nation and all that, you know. But other than that, you know, that's just a sad note. But, you know, it's showing signs of this place is continually falling from a political standpoint, from an economical standpoint, from a division standpoint between the nations, you know. And so with that, I would say, shalom.